So now we know that the Aryans came into India and decided to settle in this northwestern portion called the Sapta Sindhu region. Why was this called the Sapta Sindhu region? Well, because Sapta means seven and Sindhu means rivers and this area had seven rivers. Indus, Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Bias, Satlaj and finally Saraswati. This area was known in according to Hindu scriptures as Brahmavarta and this is where the Aryans lived during the early Vedic period which was there from 1500 BCE till 1000 BCE. Now what happened that after living in this Sapta Sindhu region their population soon increased and so during the later Vedic age which was there from 1000 BCE to 600 BCE the Aryans decided to migrate to the southeastern portion so they went from there to here in this area you can see Ganga and Yamuna rivers here right so this was the Ganga Yamuna Dob, which was later also known as Aryavarta or the abode of Aryans so now during the early Vedic age what happened that the Rig Veda the Veda was composed and that is why this early Vedic age which was there from 1500 BC to 1000 BC is also known as Rig Vedic age and because of this Rig Veda we get to know many things about the Aryans such as how did they live so let's find out well it was really simpler times and the Aryans resided in the Sapta Sindhu region right and their main occupation at that time was cattle rearing after this we get to know that people chose their own Rajan same as we today choose our own prime minister and our ministers right so during that time as well during the early Vedic period people chose their own Rajan who had to be accountable to the people and the people also gave Bali to the Rajan which was a form of voluntary gift that you give to your king because he was taking care of you right and the Rajan had to take advice from various other people such as the chief of army the Purohit or the chief priest and even the Gramini who was the village headman apart from that it was a healthy environment for women as they had rights and had freedom they were allowed to choose their own husbands in a practice of Sayambara they were allowed to attend political and religious meetings so women had basic rights during this early Vedic age apart from that cow was considered very important so cow was an important animal during this age and in fact the strongest man in the early Vedic civilization in the Aryan community was the one who had the most number of cows so cow acted as a currency during this period apart from that the entire concept of religion was not as developed as it is today so these people worshipped nature gods well these things drastically changed during the later Vedic period which was there from 1000 BCE to 600 BCE so let's find out well firstly the main discovery that took place during this later Vedic period was the discovery of iron this one metal changed a lot of things and it improved all aspects of the Aryans lives right now however the kings and Brahmans were more powerful because of iron weapons what was happening is that for the first time there was kingdom expansions that were happening so now the importance of cows decreased whereas the importance of land drastically increased and now kings were more powerful along with Brahmans who were basically priests and teachers so these priests had to conduct several rituals and this is why Brahmans importance in the society also increased and they became more powerful however women's importance in the society decreased so now they were no longer allowed to select their own husband they were no longer allowed to attend these religious and political meetings so we get to know that the woman's importance decreased during the later Vedic age after that what happened well religion saw several changes and the earlier nature gods were replaced by the Trinity Brahma Vishnu and Shiva we also find out that it is during this later Vedic period which was again there from 1000 to 600 BCE that the other three Vedas were composed these were the Sama Veda the Yajur Veda and the Atharva Veda now we all know that the Aryans came into the northwestern portion of India and decided to settle there in the Sapta Sindhu region but don't you think we're missing something well where did the Aryans come from 
Well, you'd be surprised to know that historians even today are still quarreling about this important question. In fact, there are diversity views on this. For example, Sir William Jones says that the Aryans came from Central Asia or Eastern Europe. Apart from that, our Lokmanya Bal Gangadhar Tilak says that the Aryans originated from the polar region. Apart from that, some 20th century historians trying to promote Indian nationalism even said that the Aryans did not come from outside but originated right here in India itself. So as we just saw the Aryans settling into the Sapta Sindhu region. So this German born English scholar by the name of F. Max Muller gives us a theory that is most well read. Well according to him the Aryans originated from this area which was the Central Asia portion near the Caspian Sea and from there he says that the Aryans spread to different parts of Europe and Asia. So from this portion they spread throughout Asia and Europe like that and finally the Aryans settled down in this portion northwestern region of India known as the Sapta Sindhu or the Brahmavarta. So what happened then? Well after knowing about this you know what the British did? Well they said that because the Aryans were from the outside and they made the Indian civilization so great, Indian civilizations could not work without outside support. To this, the Indian nationalists retaliated by saying that the Aryans did not come from outside but were originating right here in India. Right? Now what happened? Mind you that all of this happened before the discovery of the Harappan or the Indus Valley civilization in 1920. Right? And even after the Harappan civilization was discovered, the Britishers said the same thing. No wonder the historians have to face so many different problems. Well, historians also had their own share of fun. In fact, they discovered a very fascinating thing. Let's see what that is. Imagine one day you get to go to London. Now there, you have to ask your friend to open a door. And instead of saying door, you accidentally say dwar. And still your friend is able to understand it. Well, that is because if you observe, you can understand that dwar and door are very similar. Why do you think that is? Well, there is a mysterious thread linking these languages. As you know, Sanskrit is the mother of all Indian languages, right? Well, you see, the Aryans, when they traveled from Central Asia to different Indo-European countries, what happened is that they also spread their Aryan language. So from their language, we get newer languages such as Sanskrit, German and even other Indo-European languages. Another word that is common is Sanskrit word for mother. So in English, we call it mother. In Latin, it becomes mater. In French, it is mer. And in German, it is mutter. So don't those words all sound too similar to each other? Well, this is because the historians think that the Aryans spread from one common place and then distributed variants of their language, the Aryan language, to different parts of Asia and Africa. And that is why these similarities between different words exist today. So now we know that the Aryans settled in the Sapta Sindhu region, right? Well, they started coming into India around 1800 BCE to 1500 BCE. And today we know the modern names of all of these seven rivers. So according to Rig Veda, we have the names Sindhu for Indus, Vitasta for Jhelum, Asikni for Chenab, Purusni for Ravi, Vipas for Beers, Satadru for Satlaj, and finally Saraswati was as it is. However, another part of Rig Veda, which is the Nadi Stuti Sukta, mentions a list of 10 rivers. So not just seven, but 10 rivers in the same region. Now, did you notice that the English word seven is very much similar to the Sanskrit word sapta, English for seven, Latin for septum, and siete for Spanish? Well, that is too big of a coincidence, right? So now finally we understand that the Vedic age started right here in India from 1500 BC to 600 BC. This period was divided into two halves, the early Vedic age, from 1500 BCE to 1000 BCE, 
where the RNs lived in this portion right here, which was later, as we found out from the Rig Veda, known as the Brahmavarta, and later during the later Vedic age, from 1000 BC to 600 BC, they had to migrate because of their population increase to this region, which was known as Aryavarta. So now let's find out how these Aryans lived right here in India. So now that we have found out how the Aryans came and settled into India, we are now going to learn more about the various different aspects of the Aryans' lives. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app and get easy access to more than 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like Playstations and iPads. So, at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So, register for free now.